3 Amazing Indie Video Games Mainstream, major video games today are a bigger industry than movies or music. It's so pervasive that people are making livings out of being watched while playing video games. But since consumers often want to have variety and support smaller companies, it's important for some time to be taken to acknowledge games made independently of major gaming corporations. Games that can do things with the story or gameplay mechanics that it would be too risky for the big companies to try. 3. Broken Age Although Double Fine is now a game studio with a long history of producing cult classics like Psychonauts, in 2012 they still had to use crowdfunding to finance this game. That campaign turned out to be much more successful than the studio anticipated, becoming, for a time, the most successful video game crowdfunding campaign in the world. Although the development was problematic, involving measures like releasing the first half of the game to pay for the completion of the second half, the resulting game was more than worth it. Broken Age is a fantasy story with point-and-click gameplay similar to the aforementioned game The Silent Age. In it, a girl named Valeria has been selected to be sacrificed to a monstrous being named Mog Chothra. Even though her local communities are so messed up that being a sacrifice is considered a great honor, she decides that she would rather look for a way to kill Mog Chothra than be eaten by it. Along the way, she discovers amazing things about the monster in the world she lives in that she never would have anticipated. In addition to the excellent story, the great humor, and the wonderful voice acting from such stars such as Jack Black and Elijah Wood, the game's graphics are gorgeously drawn. 2. Pillars of Eternity This 2014 real-time rebounds per game from Obsidian is set in a world where it is not only proven that people have souls, but that souls are quantifiable, semi-physical things that can be reliably harnessed and quantified. There is a plague of Hollowborn, who are people who don't have souls. Your character has developed an ability to determine people with souls from the soulless and is going to get to the bottom of this plague. If this sounds like the basis for a pretentious, incomprehensible experience to non-fantasy fans, critics and consumers agree that this is an exciting, beautifully rendered, and accessible experience that brings to mind games like Command and Conquer. All that is no surprise since it replaced Broken Age for the most successful video crowdfunding campaign. 1. The Stanley Parable In 2011, Davey Ridden released this game which he made from modifying Valve's, creators of games like Portal and Half-Life, Game Code. In it, you play from the first-person point of view of Office Dun every man Stanley as he seems to come to the realization he's alone at work. As a narrator seems to describe everything Stanley does and should do, he either walks through the story, goes to explore the building, or just stands around. It's a game where the only character is the officious, silky voice narrator, played by Kevin Brighting, but it's fascinating and often hilarious, such as when the narrator mocks the player by saying you would never guess the password was 2435. Its quality was so high that it sold more than a million copies and was prominently featured on the hit Netflix show House of Cards. And all that with barely a hint of violence, fan service, or action. Subscribe now.